Hi everyone, Debbie here, Jack Aranda Insights for Monday the 17th of October 2022. I love this, the first card is the star of the major arcana story. So yes, nakedness in the tarot means that you're happy in your own skin. So I think that that's what's happening over the last few years. People have found that they've either got to face something in their past, deal with it, and that, that frees them up to be able to see more clearly the way to their future. And this is what the star depicts to me. Any bird in the tarot always means personal freedom. So I think that if we keep our emotional state, which is represented by the water here, and then we keep the other leg and firmly on the terra firma, and that's 3D world. So we're logical, practical, we're doing the day-to-day -day things. I've just done a massage. So we still keep on doing our job. We keep on managing our children, taking them to school, to ballet, sports, whatever. But at the same time, we have to make sure that that emotional, mental health, all of those things are kept in an alignment with the physical, tangible, material world. So that's what the jugs are there. If you're running low on emotions and or running high on emotions rather, rather and you need to stop and maybe go and have a massage or go to a yoga class or journal, the things that you know that are the key that brings your heart back into alignment and you feel good about yourself, a bit of self-care. So then when you do that, you can pour more into the everyday jobs and you'll have more energy and you'll have more negotiation skills and patience with the public, say. So that's all about the balance there. These stars are depicting that your guides and guardians, your angels, that there's plenty of ancestors that have passed over. There's plenty of energy out there that you can tap into to fill your energy tank up. And the yellow, I think, really is a good colour because that's our solar plexus just above our belly button, our gut instincts. And our gut instincts we're able to rely more and more upon back in the medieval times or even before that in primitive times when we had to know that, oh, there's some in the darkness, there's some eyes looking at me, I can't see them, but it could be a Trianosaurus Rex. So I'm going to run. So your gut instincts were really honed and I think that's what's happening since the pandemic. We've been thrown into such fear and disbelief that our uh, controlled world can, can get out of control, I guess. So those fight and flight messages were switched on and now we are listening to our intuition, listening to our gut instincts more, listening to our higher intelligence, I call this energy pool that we know how to increase our battery charge and tap into what makes our energy levels higher and that could be for me it's you know getting a massage getting a facial uh, going to yin yoga doing some stretching like that that absolutely grounds me because if you think about where i go for my yin yoga with lisa at arkansas park we're literally on the most beautiful soft grass not an ant in sight we have our mats down and our towels and everything but you can feel the energy of the earth coming up inside your body and it's filling my tank and away I go for another week. So it's really great. If you can get to yoga more than that, that's really a positive. And that meditation at the end, that's where we can tap into listening to our messages from above. So that star card is all about today letting you know to find this week something that you can tap into that's going to fill your batteries up. Fill up your personal soul up like the solar panels on my roof, fill up your solar plexus. Then we can really concentrate on our work and we can really look and focus here. He's got eight of pentacles and they're all perfect. And when we see the pentacle, you've got to think that it's a five pointed star. So we have spiritual uh, attainment is the top of the point. Then we have the pentacles, the cups, the swords and the wands, which all are the elements of life. So air, earth, fire, water, balance. So this person here is very good at balancing their work life, but they may need to have a look at some play. And that is what that message is, is to make sure you keep that balance of those jugs there of your energy state. So here we are, we can be really concentrating on work and focusing on work, but missing out on other wonderful things that are happening around us. The last card is the Four of Wands, purpose, mission in life. 
Now, even though it's in reverse, it really doesn't look much different, does it? Because we have a doorway there, a doorway there, a doorway there, and then the outside ones are also a doorway. Or if you look closely, there are four spokes in the ground holding up a canopy. So it's like a slab on my house or this house. It's like a strong foundation. They put it into a square, don't they? Because it's more even and more sturdy. So building strong foundations for the future. Celebration, coming across a bridge in a beautiful home, having a feast here, abundance is all this canopy here. So even if it's in reverse, to me it's a postponement or a delay. So it's nearly like a little story that we're being told. Find balance in your life and do what brings you joy and happiness because that will fill your energy levels right up. And make sure you are doing that. Make sure you find that work-life balance instead of just having your work hat on. There's other things in life besides work and you are good at what you do because that's what that card means. You're honing your skills really well. So have some time out for you. Celebrate and reward yourself because in the future, you're going to be able to turn your card around and you'll be celebrating a strong, sturdy foundation because you will be finding the correct messages to follow and have their clarity of mind to be able to put these little projects, all these little plants here, a little projects onto the earth. And you are good at what you do. You can know that you're adept enough to continue on. And just because this is in reverse, it's still four doorways. Four doorways into the your future, everyone. Five and eight is, uh, no, four and eight, can't see. Four and eight is 12. And then we have another 17. Is that 29? So 17 and 12, yeah, 29. Two and nine, oh my gosh, it's 11 and 11 is a master number of service. Don't you find if you're doing service, like I've just done a massage and I've got many more this week and tarot readings, but I just get such a kick out of doing something for other people. So that turns around and fills my energy up. I tap into the universe when I massage people. I don't run out of energy. I'm actually tapping into an invisible source and can keep going. I could massage until midnight. So there you are. Find what brings you joy and happiness, what fills your tank. Do it and be like the numerology. It'd be the master number of service and you will have the service come back towards you and you will fill your cup. Have a lovely day, everyone. Bye now.